Over the past three videos, we learned about the vBind directive, which is used to dynamically bind one or more attributes to an expression. Since the vBind directive is one of the most frequently used directives to apply dynamic behavior to your template, the Vue team felt that it could be verbose having to specify v-bind in every place and decided to come up with a shorthand syntax for this directive. Instead of having to specify v-bind followed by a colon and then the attribute name, we can simply specify colon followed by the attribute name. v-bind can be entirely skipped. So if I remove all occurrences of vbind, save the file and head to the browser, you can see that the UI still works as expected. This shorthand is also the convention and is widely used. I wanted to make sure as beginners, we understand that the vbind directive is what is used for attribute binding and not a colon. That is the reason I wanted to talk about the shorthand syntax only after we have used vbind for enough time to help you register the directive in your mind. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at conditional rendering in Vue. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.